explainable demand forecasting, a data mining gold mine. Demand is the quantity of a good that consumers are willing and able to purchase at various prices during a given period. It affects the whole supply chain, manufacturers and sellers. Through demand forecasting, we gain insights into future demand. Based on it, we can create production plans and work on logistics required for order fulfillment. Demand forecasts influence strategic and operational decision-making. We must decide on allocating and scheduling raw material and tooling, or scheduling, training, promoting, or hiring our workers to satisfy the expected demand. Based on expected demand, we may also consider product diversification decisions or increase or decrease market share. When creating demand forecasts, we may require different granularity levels and time horizons. When moving closer to the demand date, we usually get more precise information regarding the actual demand. Forecasts with short time horizons can benefit from this fact, but at the same time, we must consider there is a trade-off regarding the benefit of the forecast and the time and cost required to manufacture the products and ship them. Demand forecasts are helpful as long as the information can influence decision-making, creating benefits from these early insights. Demand forecasting poses multiple challenges. First, demand forecasts are useless if we are unable to provide accurate estimates. In order to do so, we must consider the demand patterns. One of the most popular demand classification schemas was proposed by Sintetos et al., who divided demand into four quadrants based on demand occurrence frequency and demand size variability. Among the factors that influence the demand occurrence and the size variability, we can name the market characteristics, the numerousness and heterogeneity of the customers, or the granularity level at which the demand is considered. Past demand information can be enriched with contextual information that provides insights on facts influencing demand, such as economic growth, product price, market share, or market growth. Different models exist to provide such estimates. We divide them into two groups, models that provide a point forecast, a single number estimate, to which we compute some expected error interval, or probabilistic forecasting models, which predict the most probable value intervals in which demand will take place for a given time horizon. Since demand forecasts influence decision-making at different levels of an organization, it is essential to inform the users about the model's reasons behind the forecasts. Explainable AI is of utmost importance in this task. When explaining to the user, we must inform which variables were most influential to a given forecast, identify root causes behind those variables' values, and gather information from complementary sources that can provide additional insights. The way the explanations are presented is also meaningful. For example, studies show that providing an example of an action that the user can take to change the forecast outcome is more persuasive than a description of factors influencing that forecast. It is important to highlight the actionable aspects, provide only the information relevant to the target user profile, and provide it in such a clear, comprehensible, and persuasive way. Since demand forecasts drive decision-making, we can research mechanisms to alleviate decision-making. For this task it is important to consider which user profiles do make the decisions, what options are available to them, what context is relevant to make the decision, which decisions do they usually take, the risks and costs associated to each decision, and if there are decisions that can be automated or semi-automated. Finally, to enhance the quality of demand forecasts, their explanations, and the decision-making options we suggest, it is important to collect feedback. Users can identify forecasts that seem unlikely to happen or identify forecasts explanations that point to reasons that may seem out of place. They can provide feedback on decision-making options if the listed ones seem unreasonable for a given context if actions, unknown to the system, are taken or provide information about the reasons behind a decision. When addressing the demand forecasting model's quality, we found many authors working on point forecasts. Different approaches are required for frequent and infrequent demand. For frequent demand, most authors develop regression models for each product. While global regression models show promising results in other fields, they were not widely reported for the demand forecasting use case. Global regression models usually display better performance than the local ones. In some cases, the error for a particular forecasted point may be higher in the global model than in a local one. How to constrain such errors is still a subject of research. 
multiple models were proposed in the literature to deal with infrequent demand, ranging from statistical and machine learning models to hybrid ones. Such models address the data sparsity, which makes traditional regression methods unfit for the task. Though much effort was invested in research, no satisfactory solution exists to this problem yet. Though forecast quality is of great importance, it is also crucial to provide good insight into motivating the forecast. Multiple techniques and methods were developed to understand which features are most influential to a given forecast. Despite the fact that much research was done on preserving machine learning models' privacy, little research was done on how to avoid exposing machine learning model characteristics through explainable artificial intelligence. Another important issue we address is how to enrich explanations with meaningful information and highlight actionable aspects. We found many approaches feeding knowledge graph embeddings to machine learning models to link machine learning model results to existing domain knowledge. Much research was done on root cause analysis, but little of it was linked yet to including such insights as part of model explainability. Finally, we found that though it is accepted that forecast explanation should be actionable, little research was done on how to provide them, especially for regression models. Regarding decision-making advice, we found that many techniques were developed to aid decision-making in manufacturing, such as multiple objective optimization techniques or simulations. However, little research was done on how does explainable artificial intelligence affect decision-making. Our main contribution is threefold. First, we work towards enhancing demand forecast quality for frequent and infrequent demands. We proposed a technique to constrain global regression model errors for frequent demands and thus improve the overall demand forecasting quality. For infrequent demand, we developed a two-fold model, which achieved state-of-the-art results. Second, we used semantic technologies to provide forecast explanations, highlighting actionable features, avoid exposing sensitive information to third parties, and enrich forecast explanations with external sources. Finally, we developed a semantic model to provide decision-making advice in manufacturing. We are currently working towards implementing an active learning system to learn from the user's locally observed collective knowledge that is not captured by other means. We will use this information to enhance the decision-making advice provided to the users.